What is up guys? Today, if you want to learn how to airbrush and it is your lucky day because today in this video, I'm going to show you three exercises to help you get instantly better at airbrushing. What? Is some sort of sorcery? No, it's just practice. And there's these few simple things that you can do to practice that will just, what? What? But before we get into that, like Bob says, everybody needs a little friend. So do I. Be a pal and hit that subscribe button and then we could just be friends forever. Just, you know, thanks. But before we get into that, let's head on over to the pooter and see who won the glitter from the last episode. And if you didn't see that, click the link in the card and go watch that. And if you didn't, like, why not? I'm gonna cry. Go watch it. And if you stick around till the end of this video, what was that? You might get a chance to win something too. Hint, 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 hint. All right, let's go. All right, we are on the pooter. I put in the YouTube URL for this video right here. It's getting the comments. There's 288 comments. Remember, they have to say something to do with glitter. Okay, I've never used this before. I'm reading this down here and it says to go and pick start. Oh, it's going, look at all you guys' comments fly, flying through there. Roberta S. That was really fast. So excited about this video. Got to unpack an airbrush. <gasps> oh, no. She didn't say anything about glitter. There's, she, there's no glitter. Oh, we're going to I'm sorry, Roberta. I'm, let me make sure again. Let me read one more time. I'm so excited about this video. Now I've got to unpack the airbrush. I've been avoiding and overcome my fears. Love your videos and look forward to more like this. That is a fantastic comment. And if you want to try to get your hands on an airbrush, watch to the end of this video and you might could win one. Uh, hint, hint. But <laughs> my gosh, I'm going to have to pick another winner because it, why you keep moving? Doesn't say anything about glitter. So that was the rule. I don't make the rules. I just, I'm just kidding. I didn't make the rules. Okay, here we go. Another one. Shelly. Frederick. Let's see if it has the word glitter in it. Thank you so much, glitter. Oh gosh, what? This guy like literally glitter in every other word. Thank you so much, glitter, for this video. I learned glitter several... What are you doing? Stop moving. Several things that I needed to correct glitter and a couple I was actually doing right. You are glitterally awesome. <laughs> That is a great comment. You are glitterly awesome too. And you glitterly won some glitter. So congratulations. Shoot me a message on my Instagram or my Facebook page and give me your address so I can send this glitter to you. Congratulations. Wow. Fantastic comment. Now let's get into the video. All right. We're out here. Hey, focus. We're going to do three simple exercises to get you airbrushing like Zorro if he used the airbrush instead of a sword. So for this demonstration, we're going to use alcohol ink because that's what most of you guys use. So we're going to use alcohol ink and alcohol spray just to clean out your brush and whatever. And if you feel like it's not spraying right, you could put a little alcohol in it, thin it out a little bit. So let's get started with the exercises. So I have an aluminum board, nice piece of aluminum. I got a bunch of these off of eBay. You can practice on a piece of paper or whatever. A piece of paper is going to absorb and this will be more like a cup. Okay. Exercise numero uno. Just the simple down for air, back for paint. That's going to leave a dot. So what we're going to do for this exercise is we're going to make dots. And each time we're going to get, try to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Control. So each time you're making the dot smaller, you're going to get closer, closer, and your trigger is going to get pulled back less and less for each time. So back here, big trigger. Here, very close. Oh, look at that little dot. Look how tiny that is. Little tiny bits. And one thing about alcohol ink, I will tell you guys this, and this is the reason why I like automotive better. For detail work, this is not the cleanest, neither is 
I mean, you can get this stuff to be spray pretty smooth and clean, but it's harder. So if I had to say detail work in order of ease of use of how it flows, and look, come here, come here let me show you something. What I mean is you see this little speckledy pattern? The uh, automotive is so much easier to get that nice and smooth, gradual, but you can take and put a little rubbing alcohol in there, try to thin it out some, but you gotta be careful that you don't make it too runny and you pull back and it goes So get your sheet, get your board, whatever you feel like practicing on, and just fill it up with bunches of dots, big to little to big to little to whatever. After you've done that, we're gonna do some target practice. The way you're gonna do this is you're gonna take and you're gonna make some dots. Try to make them all the same and equal apart. Make a bunch. This is called, whoops, messed that one up, target practice. Gets trippy after looking at it for a minute. Got a little off on that one. It's not gonna be perfect. That's why you practice. So now that you've got some dots, some dotage going on, you try to get faster if you want to. Try to be more accurate on your pullbacks. See how much better that looked, you know. It's just practice. You get a rhythm. You try to figure out how this stuff is, how it flows and how it works for you. It's hand to eye to trigger coordination. You know, you want to, I mean, you could even make a circle and a circle in it and a circle in it and a dot. So as the second part of this target practice, we're going to take and connect the dots. Just do one at a time. Go up, go down, make little boxes. So what you're doing is you're going and when you hit to the spot, turn on the air. I mean, the, turn on the paint. If it gets to where it's hard to blow, you're going to need to like point it away and blow it out, pull this out, blow it out real good. Take it and clean off your tip. Remember the last video, all those tips. You don't have to get close for it. You can do big dots. And then connect them. Diagonal, this way. This way, let's put a dot there. Practice just target practice. It's like if you're shooting a gun and you wanna get good at your aim, it's the same thing. There, fill up a whole page of that or a hundred pages, depending on how good you wanna get. The next thing I wanna show you is the same as this, but we're gonna do parallel lines. So you always start moving before you pull back from the paint. So if you want to start moving there, go back this way. You can go in between the other lines. So what you're doing is you're, you're using, you're not using this. I mean, you can, but you're using your whole arm, your whole body. Practice lines. You get some lines this way, go up and down, up down, up, down, up, down, up, down. More air, more paint, farther away, shadow. See there? You just figured out how to do shadows. Real close, pull back, boom. Look at how nice those look. And you see they're not perfectly straight. It takes a lot of work to get them perfectly straight and you kinda gotta take your time. That's why we practice, you know? Then when you get these, you want to go diagonal. Go up, down, up, down, up, down. Same way this way. 
up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Focus on getting them equal distant apart and consistent. You see how they're all um, the same sizes? Uh, you can go from big to little and you can try to keep them consistent. That's the big to littles over here. You know, you got the big to little. You know how to do that. Because you did all these little dots, big to little. But what you want to try to do is keep it consistent and keep it equal apart. Just a uniform, you know. And now that you have this, you can do the reverse of this practice and target practice. Try to hit those. Try to hit those in the middle. Doesn't that look pretty? That might make a cool, hold on, let me show you this. Look at that pattern, that's pretty sick. That would make a cool look on a tumbler. I, I kinda like that. And that brings us to our last exercise. I don't know, how many was that? Seven, 10, five, three? I don't know. It's called a dagger stroke. It's where we take this guy and we make a line to this guy. Let me show you what I mean. So you start fat and you go big. Big to little. You can also do it with loops, like going big to little. These are the hardest to master. Okay, let me bring you in and show you those. So the dagger stroke is essentially like a hair. You start at the follicle and it flicks out and gets smaller. So as you're bringing in, you, you get closer each time. And if you'll notice, I took my little end cap off here. And you can see my needle. I feel like I can see where I'm going better that way. You know what I mean? Don't forget to blow it out if it starts getting hard to pull back and go with it. Cut that last part out. I don't even know what I was saying. So there you have it. I feel like that was a lot more than three uh, exercises, but they kind of all roll right into the next one. <gasps> what? You want a bonus? Sure, why not? Now time for the bonus. We're gonna take all those exercises and we're gonna draw some simple shapes and make a, make a little shape, a picture. And pay attention to how you use every technique. So let's just pick a square here. It doesn't have to be perfect. The lines don't have to be smooth. Just do your best. There's a, a square, but we're gonna make it. For the last one, we'll make a delicious little empty snow cone. There's a darker area in here. Shade up to the light. Uh, do your little doodads here. Something like that shade to give it roundness. Look at that, how easy was that? There you go, get to work, get practicing, draw some stuff that you see around the house, you know? And just keep practicing. You should have plenty to do. So, what? Ho! Oh. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Now you have a couple things that you can practice and try with your airbrush to figure out how you can just become an airbrush tumbler artist, you know, like we all want to be. Wait, what? You don't have an airbrush? I'm going to give one away right now. All you have to do is hashtag airbrush army. Each time you do it, you'll be entered to win. So do 5,000 of them. It increases your chances because I'm going to pick a YouTube random comment picker just like I did then. If you comment 50 times, you're entered 50 times. This is it's literally that easy. You know what? Just put anything with the word airbrush, okay? And if you would just share, like, subscribe, share it on your social media, share it to some blogs, share it to your favorite Facebook group, community, I don't know, pin it on Pinterest. Uh, you know, all of this helps support my channel so I can keep giving stuff away like this. It's just beautiful. So shiny. Ooh. And 
Smells like metal. That's a good thing. Go in this. Go comment. You're still watching this? What are you doing? Okay, if you want to keep watching, just watch these next videos right here.